Good morning! Welcome guys, gals, and I'm Binary Pals. Rachel's house is like so nice. It's so warm and cozy. Okay. Oh, I like that painting. What are you? Oh, you're home. Yeah, I am. Or she Rose, is. I should Rachel's say. home. And she um, brought her new friend. I did. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Our surprise star returns. You're mm. just in time. Dinner's almost ready. Well, we have it. Was it? Yeah, it was. It was. It, it is. Nailed it. I must have been pretty memorable. You were. I get the sense that you're used to making an impression. Rachel, <laughs> honey, you I don't were know if that's a good thing. Tonight. Thanks. Chloe, you must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, Wait, you went to see it and must? didn't say anything? I must? Of course. I made chicken a la king. I'm sure you both acted up quite the appetite. I don't know what that is. I'm hungry, though. Yeah, no thanks. I'm more of a burger a la king kind of gal. She's funny, this one. I'm aware. Chloe, <laughs> I know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning, but with you and Rachel becoming such fast friends, I insist you join us for dinner. Don't you agree, Rachel? Yes, of course. Chloe, would you join us for dinner, please? Sure, babe. Of course. Great. I just need to wash off. Then I'll be right down. Yeah, Don't be me long. too. In the meantime, perhaps you can help me with the table, Chloe? I need sure to thing. wash Mrs. too. Amber. Uh my okay, hands I'm gonna go got check. After dinner, we can make our dirty break. while can I was cool down here. Sucking face with your daughter. Absolutely. Totally. Your parents love me. They're good at yeah. coming off that way, but don't let your guard down. And Got it. Chloe, we just need to make it through dinner. Try not to say anything that, you know, that I would normally say. Yeah. Exactly. Just some quality time with the Ambers. Mm. What could possibly go wrong? So much. Don't say that. <laughs> 16, 17, 18, 19. That's good stuff. How's, how's Mikey doing? <laughs> yeah, no, I was. You get medals for two good deeds. Okay. Mikey's good. Alright, that's great. Drew is going to text me. Okay. Alright. I like this art. It reminds me of Swedish fish. But it's really pretty. Got some good taste in art. <laughs> Rachel really was an overachiever before she met me. Oof. Glad I nipped that in the bud. I, that's not how I would have phrased it, but alright. How are you doing today, James? I'm gonna look at the newspaper beside they you before I talk to you. Local, but damn. Largest fire in Arcadia Bay history. Big oofs, my guy, big oofs. What is this? What is it? I bet there's like not even a single Cheeto stuck in this thing. So specific. What? Why? May I ask? Holy shit! That's oh. the guy who attacked Drew. I'm glad I gave him the cash. Francis Bowers, Sheldon Pike, Sarah, Sarah, Peter Gillespie, 
Rodney Thunder Sears. Sarah Gearhart. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right or not. Why are they? Like I get I get Frank's like working for him. Who was who are the other people? Should I know them? Should I should I know their names? Probably. Isn't that Sheldon dude? I might be wrong. Isn't that Sheldon dude the one that was being a bitch to me at the club? I'm stuck on your table, James. Thank you. Uh, can I use this? Can I touch? Doing the play was bad enough without having to read about it afterwards. Hope Mikey's okay, though. Chloe held it down like a champ. Yes, I did, Steph. Yes, I did. Hmm. How to clear browser history, followed by a gap for all of yesterday. That's like cheating asshat 101. Poor Rachel. How incognito tab. How to incognito tab. Okay. Ooh. I'm not sitting. Thank you. I mean, look at the Easy book. to see who wears the literary pants around here. Yes, I know exactly what that means. Thank you. Ooh. Picture. Guess some families actually go to Paris instead of just talk about it their whole lives. Yeah, what's that like? Wall art! Oh, I think that's an original who gives a shit. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's kinda ugly, not gonna lie. Don't know what it's supposed to be of. So clean. I bet Rose would kill it with my mom at the diner. Yeah... Sure. You got an awful lot to say. Lots of shiny dishes, though. Hey, Drew. How's it going? Mikey's all right. He says thanks. Okay. All right. So he's good. He's all right. That's great. That's amazing. Something about this photo doesn't seem right. DA James Amber cracks it. down on drugs. Um, fix it. But, but mommy's right there. Crossword puzzle. I want to do a crossword. Improve. I hear bubbles. Literal? Literal. <gasps> Would you write? Solved it. What? There's no puzzle to which swords isn't the solution. Did you... Did you just color? <laughs> Chloe... I, uh, you, let me graffiti Can't while I'm tag here. this while Rachel's mom is right there. Okay. She totally bust me. Hey, mama. Fuck off. Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. You should put you your milk away. shirt from Rachel. We call it the Rorschach shirt. What mm. do you see? Oh, I myself see the Wingstop logo. I see a bird. Uh, I guess I see a bird. Interesting. Well, wash it before you bring it back. Yeah, I'm not dumb. Thank you. So, uh, Rachel was pretty awesome tonight. She sure was. And I imagine whatever trick the two of you pulled to get her back on stage was even more dramatic than the play. <laughs> we can be well. very persuasive together. Persuasive. Yes, that's a word for it. I get the sense that yeah. you're a force of nature yourself. I, can I get see the sense the that you don't like so me. Well. You can? 
Because it still seems crazy to me. How's the husband? Integrity, honesty, loyalty. What? It's on your lawn. Oh, right. <laughs> she said. Sorry. I guess I'm still getting used to being me? an elected official's wife. Strong words. Those are some strong words. You think he lives up to them? He's fantastic at what he does. Of course, he's only human. Or subhuman. What? What? I, I thought you said something. I it, did. Nope. I said it was strange that you said he's good at what he does. Instead of he's good at his job or he's a good husband father man I find it strange that you were very specific how'd you like yeah, to play what did you think of the play Rachel was typically amazing but I never liked the Tempest what did you think of it to be honest I didn't really read it. Yes, that was apparent in your performance. Ouch. Jeez. Sick burn, Mrs. Wow. Amber. I'm sorry, was that mean? A little bit. No. I deserve it. This table needs setting, I guess. So, you putting me to work, or what? Yes. If you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. Uh, what if I can't? Excuse me? You said if I could. Never mind. Chloe. Uh, You're a riot, Chloe. Oh, she's a something, alright. Chloe, right. you've set the table without ruining someone's marriage before. Piece of cake. How do I get her away? How do I. Can I, like. Smash a plate or something? Can I smash a plate? Or I'm something? Stuff to the table with you. Can I whoopsie daisies a plate or something? I'm gonna go talk to Diddy before I do all that. Can I go anywhere first? No, I'm gonna talk to Diddy. How's it going, Diddy? Hiya, Mr. Amber. Chloe, what can I do for you? Hiya, cheater. How is it at the district attorney's office? So, you're a district attorney, huh? I'm your district attorney. So, I can call you if I'm ever district arrested? What would you be arrested for? You're already... <laughs> was a joke. Already in bed. Not a good one. Clearly. <laughs> How about the play? I mean, what do you think? I thought Rachel was perfectly cast. She certainly was. We're very proud of her. I had no idea they were going to do that. Do what? I don't know the name for it. Uh, reverse casting? Casting a, a woman as a man? Oh, uh, I just meant the wizard part. Ah, uh, I suppose that's also true. I don't... No, it's called reverse casting. Came off a little sexist, my guy, but I... Your daughter's pretty great. Thank you. We're fond of her as well. You ever feel like she's I mean, so she awesome did come from your sack, buddy. you just want to shake her? <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, me neither. Chloe, you have such a way with words. I, 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 I'm, I'm going to leave you. I'm gonna leave. Good, good chat, Mr. Amber. Mm-hmm. What a pretentious piece of shit. How do you... <sighs> Can I go upstairs? Can I, I should go... stay down here until Rachel is ready. The thing is, I don't want to. I want to la... You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna say it. They're still teenagers. I'm gonna keep my mouth in line. Time to get these plates on the table. Yeah, I know what I'm supposed to be doing, all right? Shut up. Yes, Chloe? These plates? Are these the plates? 
Yes, place them on the table, please. It's that table-shaped object over there. Mrs. Table -shaped Amber, up? dropping bombs. Tab table-shaped object. Can I do this? Can't tag this while Rachel's mom is right there. No, I get she you totally to go. She totally bust me. How do I get you to fuck off? Time to... Captain. Glasses. Damn. The Ambers are fancy as shit. Is that, is that all uranium glassware? Never realized that getting drunk could be so complicated. How is it complicated? Bro, it's literally just cups. Calm down. What did that say? Grandfather clock. Damn. Wonder if this is a family heirloom. I, or it's just a fucking clock they bought at the yard sale. I don't know. Table set. Mom. Hi, Mom. Justin Williams? Who said- who's Justin? Oh, Justin. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, I... I feel so bad for Joyce. She doesn't deserve all the shit that she gets. Do 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 I put the do I put the drinky drinks at each No? Okay. Hey, what now? Yes, Chloe? I s yeah, what now? Plates? Check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? He wants a tall glass of I piss. I will be a dear. Talking to James. As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. He's literally like 10 feet away. Why don't you yell? Hey, cheating ho! What do you want to drink? A tall glass of fucking piss? He wants a tall glass of piss. Ma'am, can I pour yes, that for him? Chloe? How am I doing? Am I doing okay? So, am I crushing it? This dinner would be taking literally minutes longer without you. Crushing it. You know what? I'll take literally minutes. Uh, it's because... Woof. Hey, cheater. How about a nice tall glass of piss? Huh? How are we feeling Something about that else? tonight? Piss? What's your vice, Mr. Amber? I'm sorry? Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah, let's say sherry. Okay. Piss. One, Got it. Thank you. Two, three, sherry. What? Comical. Chloe, maybe you can help what? me understand what? something. What? The fuck was that? I'll give it a shot. No, Rose this is a different type I, of drink. We're worried about Rachel. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? I suppose... Ooh... Do I want to start shit? Do I... want to start shit? Uh, to be fair, both options start shit. Your daughter wants to sleep with me. Besides all my bad behavior rubbing off on her, you mean? Hmm. Another joke. You tell mm, me. We're rubbing something. It seemed like you and Wells were happy to believe that this morning. Rachel is her own person. She's responsible for her actions. Oh, does that mean lying. you're responsible for yours? I said I yours? concerns about your friendship, but perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. That's not what I was expecting. What? Uh, thanks. Wait, no, I want more than that. Something else? Apparently not. Uh, Duty what? calls. <laughs> Hey, good 
chat, Mr. Amber. Mm-hmm. What did you mean by that? I... Okay. Hey, like I said, your husband wants a tall glass of piss for dinner. I will be yes, happy Chloe? to do it for him. I'll pour it the myself. boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? Kidding. <laughs> it's the fancy looking cabinet, right? You got it. Chloe. Chloe. Why do you do this? Uh... It's the triangle shape one. Basic shapes. <laughs> Now you're speaking my language. That's cup one, cup two, cup three. There's literally just cups in there. What the fuck does it matter? Where am I putting this? I'm guessing the head of the table because Mr. Head in the table. Mr. Head's gonna get some head. <laughs> Fart in his glass. Fart in his glass, Chloe. Do it. Do it. Fart in the man's glass. He deserves it. Now what? Yes, Chloe? Can I go upstairs? What else? <laughs> Feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in the- It's cool. I've got my own. Oh. You never know when you'll need to light a candle. Right? <laughs> You are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. I... I think. I'll pretend I know what that means. Light some candles and... <gasps> bless this joint up a bit. <laughs> Finally. Sure, sure. Mrs. Amber has her back turned. <sighs> Time to fix this photo. Uh... He's... Sucking the life out of it. Out of the family. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Frankenstein's monster doesn't deserve that. Oh, I missed the message board and the cruel reflector. Where were those at? Man, I hate missing those. Why do you have candles at the table? I don't... That would smell and, like... Throw off the smell of the, the food. The Amber family and fire. <laughs> yeah. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, it's nothing. Obviously. So you see that weather? <laughs> it's very, um... Fuego! <laughs> right? So, Chloe... Up top. Are you and Rachel in any of the same classes? I... I... well... no... no... I wish. Rachel's all honors. I'm still trying to get into remedial... What's it called? Vocabulary. Remedial vocabulary? What about that fire? <laughs> <clears throat> Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank you, Rachel. So, the fire. The, way the fire spreads so fast. <laughs> I've never heard of anything like it. Yeah, no, yeah. It's, um. Well, life is strange. Uh, life it's is strange. Almost surreal. They say a fire like that could only come from a crime of passion. Passion? What does that mean? I don't know. You tell me. Something you've never had, apparently. Because you're the DA, of course. Yeah, I know that's what it's she meant. It's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. No, arson. no. Why would anyone do that? I, I don't reasons. know. With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel Thank have you? become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Cool. Yeah, no thanks. Thanks. 
Well said, dear. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important to us. Family. Yeah. Family's not merely a gift. It is a responsibility. Was it as important such, when you were cheating on your wife? Cared for and never, ever taken for granted. Yeah. Because oh, you never, um, you definitely never did that, right? No. Yeah. Oh, we're going to fight. Enough of this asshole. Rachel yeah, may no, have yeah. to take it, but I don't. I'm going to turn his daughter and wife against him at his own dinner table. Oof. I'm not sure I agree, James. J James? Oh, I thought you of all people would be grateful for family, at least. Oh, yeah, well... <laughs> gratitude. If you ask me... Gratitude is just one more way privileged people tell the unprivileged that they should be happy with what they have. Big oofs. That is an excellent Mad point, tough. Chloe. We must always be sensitive to the way our privileges shape our perspectives. That is true. Well said, Mom. Still, there must be some room for personal responsibility. I'm sure you agree, Chloe. Oh, Chloe does not, actually. Responsible. Ooh. When my mom's boyfriend talks about responsibility, it's always code for him trying to control other people. Guess that's why they teach it in the army. Yeah? See? This is why it's so important to invite diverse voices to converse with one another. It's absolutely stimulating. Hmm. Highly stimulating. Since you have answers for everything, Chloe, yeah, perhaps you'd like to enlighten us with absolutely. some of your hard-earned wisdom about the world. I would actually wake the fuck up. Sure, I believe the entire world is a simulation to keep us complacent while machines harvest our energy like uh, a giant battery. Wait, how did that I call get the ammo simulation boy? Sleepy Battery Planet? I'm confused. Yes. I'm not. Chloe, I believe your point was a bit too veiled for me to understand. Ooh. Are you suggesting that I'm using some sort of incognito mode where I can keep my activities hidden? That's crazy. Excuse me? How dare you talk to me like this? Talk to you like what? I don't understand. Yeah, Dad. What is Chloe talking about? Nothing. It's her whole... attitude. Uh... Microaggressive I attitude? These microaggressions are real useful for keeping people in line. Convicts, your wife, your daughter. She said. <gasps> Don't worry, Mr. Amber. I can tell that my progressive attitude is not welcome in this house. I'll see myself out. James, Chloe is right. You owe her an apology. Yes, he I does. Owe her Thank no you. Such thing. I believe she is willfully acting belligerently just as she did this morning. It is how people like I her would respond never. to adversity. People like her? So we're profiling Ooh. now? This is what eight months in the DA's office has taught you. I resent Nice that. pick up, Mommy. My office is committed to fair and equitable treatment. Yes, I've read the press releases. Excuse me? Are you calling me a hypocrite? <laughs> yes. Rachel! I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad. You're a hypocrite. Okay? I know. You lying, cheating, piece of shit, motherfucker. Excuse me? <laughs> we saw you yesterday uh -oh. at the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel? Oh. Honey, whatever you saw or think you saw, I know it's hard, but I need you to trust me. No. No, no, no. No offense, Mr. Amber. But I think we trust our eyes more than you. That's enough. You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I don't think you have a say exactly in that. the kind of person you are from the moment I saw you. Yeah? Let my wife's compassion get the better of me. Oh? What kind of person is a that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. That's enough, James. 
I will not have you continue to speak to her like this. Oh. She is dissociating hardcore. Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Whoa. Stop lying. Stop being a politician for one fucking minute. Can't you just be my dad? You tell him, Rachel. Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. Okay, but even so, like, your wife's standing right there. Like, hello? She cool with this whole, like, three-way thing happening? Shadow settle on the place that you left. Our minds are troubled by the emptiness Destroy the middle, it's a waste of time From the perfect start to the finish line And if you're still breathing, you're the lucky ones What did he give him? Cause most of us are heaving through corrupted lungs Setting fire to our insides for fun Collecting names of the lovers that went wrong The lovers that went wrong Most of us are bitter over someone Setting fire to our insides for fun To distract our hearts from ever missing love But I'm forever missing I feel bad for Joyce. I really do. Is she... She basically lost everyone that mattered to her as of right now. And, like, she has to turn to David. Because her daughter is, like, still trying to figure out what's good for her. You know? Took the blame for Rachel. You went along with Rachel's story. I mean, it's it. It didn't seem like it would matter, to be honest. You emptied your pockets at David's request. I did that to stay on mommy's good side. Gave Damon the money. Wow, I was in the very low percentage of a couple of these. I did not expect that low of a percentage to give Damon the money. It was just going to him anyway, wasn't it? I... I thought so. You asked Rachel for a kiss. A duh -uh. You refused to start over. 24%. Wow. That's a lot lower than I thought it would be. Put the singing man on your dashboard. I have been told since that episode came out that it's supposed to be Johnny Cash because he was in all black. 
I don't know if that's true. I don't, uh, I don't know one way or the other because I don't know faces. <laughs> so I'm going to take VGG's word on it and go with, yeah, no, it's Johnny Cash. <laughs> Didn't pay out your debt to Frank. Wow, 98%. Only 2% paid off your debt. Wow. I didn't expect that to be that low. Jeez. You didn't tell Steph that Rachel was single. I don't know what Rachel is. I don't think Rachel knows what Rachel is. <laughs> Told Samantha to give Nathan space. Yeah. I, 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 we, we know how Nathan is. I just figured that was good. You discouraged Victoria from... And it, it seemed to obviously be the right thing to do because he was smiling after when she was standing there. You discouraged Victoria from acting in the play. I just wanted to fight. Let's be let's be real right now. You told Rachel you'd like to go to Los Angeles. I did that because she wanted to go there. I felt, you know, that's really divided. 33, 33, 34. That is literally divided as evenly as possible. That's surprising. That's really cool. Shit! Shit! Okay. I was smart and downloaded the other episode, so let's get right into it. Well, I want to tell you all of it. Yeah, but are you as you sure should. That Chloe should be here for. Chloe stays. Yeah, I'm kind of her girlfriend, sort of, kind of. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. Right. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah. Yeah, I found that out. Your birth mother. Okay, but you were still, you know, lip-locked with her. That's the problem here. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Chloe. I'm here. I'm right here. Good. I need you. Of course. Got you. in high school there was one person everyone adored her teachers her friends Sarah was everyone's favorite every boy wanted to date her I could barely believe it when she picked me sometimes I think that's what kept me blind for so long She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. Escape from what? When Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. 
for a little while. Becoming your father is the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. Okay. So she's biologically his and Sarah's. Why not just tell her all this early on? Like, there have been... It's not... It shouldn't be that big of an issue. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything. Even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. I mean, having known someone who has had like, <laughs> my, si my sister had the same problems, like almost the exact same fucking problems. She wanted to be a kid, but she also wanted to have kids. So, everybody else's life got put on hold because she didn't want to take care of them. And she turned to drugs and, uh, unfortunately overdosed because of them. Um, but it, I, I still don't see why you wouldn't just tell her all this in the first place. You didn't have to tell her that, like, you could have just told her that, like, Rose is her stepmom, and her real mom just, like, I don't know, it, you were trying to hide the abandonment and everything, but it's, I get it, but I also don't, I guess. What you saw at the Overlook? Rachel, it was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her, that she felt like she'd gotten her life together, finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. Yeah, I know that all but too after well. after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. And again. And again. To keep you safe. It's 
So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. So you send but her money to feed her drug addiction? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. Why? Why not? If that's what Rachel wants. Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. Yeah. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the, the mm. fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. People can't get their Rachel. lives together. I think I need to lie down. It's... I don't know, it's, it's a hard, it's, you can't get your life together if you want to, you have to want it, because that shit won't work out if you don't, it will not happen, even if everybody around you wants it, it, it's just like, Yeah, no, we're not, um, we're not coming to the after party, guys. That's not, that's a, that's a no-go. That's a hard no-go. Oh, we filled out everybody. Okay, we got Sarah. Okay. 1920. Um, just a little thoughts before I end this episode it's um uh, like I said it's some it's something that you need to change no one can change it for you no one can do it for you if you want to change then you will change if you don't want to change you're not going to it's all about you it's it's all about you you need to do it whether that be doing it for someone else, doing it for your kid, doing it for yourself, you need to put forth the effort to do it or else it won't get done. My sister went through multiple different rehabs, went through multiple different programs to try to get better. She was, uh, she went through jail, she, you know, and she didn't want to be better so she didn't uh and it killed her so i get why rachel wants to meet her it's her biological mom but she's had rose all of her life and it seems like rose genuinely fucking cares about her uh is it it's her right to meet her if she wants to but I personally, with all my trust issues, I would keep her at a distance. Maybe have the four of them meet up together as like a family and sit down and talk kind of thing. Maybe not just like let your daughter meet her alone because that's what she's obviously going to do. Uh, but yeah, it's, that's just my thoughts. Let uh, Let us know in the comments if you disagree agree if you've had any experience with this uh but i hope you guys have a good day or night depending on what time you're watching and if today's your birthday happy birthday like and subscribe if you like this have a safe flight home we'll see you next season